Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you are well. This is mathematics. In this presentation, we want to look at this question. It is coming from 2023, grade 12 internal examination, and this was paper one, question one. The question says, evaluate 8 over 27 raised to the power 1 over 3. Okay, you are told to evaluate, meaning you have to find the exact value of this. Now remember this is paper 1, no calculator is allowed. What do you do? Well, you copy the question the way it is, 8 over 27, then raised to the power 1 over 3. Okay? Identify the topic. Which topic is this? These are indices or index notation. You can call it in that way. There's no problem. Now, this is the power. And I want you to take note of this. When we have 8, 27, the power is raised here. Not the way you write some of you like this. This is wrong. Look at the way I'm writing. That's the first principle there. Look at the question. You are taught to find the exact value. Now, the power that has been given is a fraction without a negative. What do you do? If you are given a fraction as a power, the numerator here has a meaning. Denominator has got also a meaning. This numerator you are seeing is called power. Then this one is root. Put it that way. That's the first principle. Okay? If at all it had a negative here, okay, if we had a negative here, we could have flipped these two numbers. But since we don't have a negative, it, they will remain the way they are. But if we had a negative, then 27 could have been on top, 8 down. But the way it is, no negative. Leave them the way they are. Now, when you identify this, when you know that the numerator is power, denominator is root. There is this word, root. It means you are now talking about this, root. Inside here, put this, 8 over 27. See that? Then where would this one be? It is the power. So, to this power, 1. The root is what? 3. Put it in here. This is where the root is. So you convert from this state to this. What next? It is now about the understanding here. Since it is to the power 1, even if we ignore it, no problem. Since it's just 1. And as if it was any other number. 2, 3, 4. But since it is 1, you ignore. Concentrate on this. So we have root, cube root of 8 over 27. You are now going to write this in another form. What will be that? You are going to separate. Which will be cube root of 8. Write it this way. Cube root of 8 over cube root of 27. Like this. I see that? What next? The next thing that you are going to do here is you ask yourself. Cube root of 8. What does it mean? You are looking for a number that you can multiply itself three times. That is the meaning of cube root. Looking for a number that you can multiply itself three times and it should give you eight. What number do you think will be that? Two. I see that? So let me write here. Two. So the cube root of eight is two because two times two times two is equal to? 8 over cube root of 27. Look for a number that you can multiply itself three times and it should give you 27. What number will be that? 3. Hence, the value of this is 2 over 3. Bye-bye.